hello welcome guys now in this lecture we are going to see the how to locate the elements on the uh, android application for the to perform the application on the uh, different different elements of the uh, elements for example this is this skip button there next button is there uh, this is the app logo uh, app logo is there so we have to uh, identify the uh, location or the id address of this element so for that we need the locators for the apm inspector we have used uh, here apm inspector uh, server also connected like that we can uh, uh, we can out find out the address xpath and the element id package class text whatever text would be here for example here is the next button is there so one thing i have to refresh okay there is a low uh, for the logo there is the element id is there package is there class is there for this is this is a text uh, where the text you can found the app name is there so like that we have to uh, identify the element first we can uh, I th uh, first i have to i will uh, i tell you how to start the inspector i will close this session uh, here i am use the capabilities uh, you can find that on android apm device whatever we could mention in the uh, this code that should be in the inspector uh, required what be required at least this could be and host should be there which are, which are using in code and this to be or you have to just click on start session after that the app whatever will open in the, your application uh, this could be visible on the your uh, a inspector yes that's open the uh, app now so my app logo is there and right yes for the different strategies we have to use let's see what are the strategies we are going to uh, see first okay there are uh, different strategies versus id accessibility id name class name xpath image and ui automator for the emulator we are basically this is used most of the in uh, most of the time we are use add id and xpath is uh, where time we use for example this is could be the id example the app package and this id this format we will find in accessibility this is only the element id will found for example uh, here uh, I, could, uh, I, I will show you what the text is there for so, this id you will uh, element id is there so, for example is there anything id for the oh. okay this is already not there for the element so if you if you have id in the first priority you will receive the id at the top a spot at the top it means uh, if the priority is there for id only and expert is available uh, both are available then you should use id as recommended by apm okay uh, then a uh, name is there for static stairs which are not going to change the class name and the xpath xpath has a various various type of attributes and various type of formats we can declare i will show you in the next sheet uh, in this in this lecture only or uh, this just remember this is kind of the format would be uh, image or this is the image id and you are to matter for that we have the deep, uh, this is the example right for that we uh, we have the separate method for the id that's find element by id and you can just mention this id in the uh, string format and then another method is for uh, the accessibility id we have also different method for the accessibility id find element by the accessibility id and uh, we can just mention the string format the element accessibility id find element uh, by the name then we just mention the string like that uh, the class name and the xpath by xpath and the driver by image then we just mention the string path of this rest for the different type uh, or the you are automator do you have to just cast type cast the find finds by android UI automator into driver and uh, call the method find element by android UI automator then just must mention whatever text is in the string format this is the uh, way you have the different type of locators which we are going to uh, use in the, our automation and we are going to automate and identify the element on the page 
and we are going to use for the perform the operation let's see what are the different type of xpath and we can how a way of the uh, can mention the xpath in the our uh, automation project these are the xpath uh, examples with different attribute like we are uh, mentioned here the text at uh, with home with class name as a uh, absolute xpath and here also the absolute xpath without the class name as the text and the, the, the attribute value uh, then the here we have here is only the uh, xpath is used there are uh, this is with the class name with add content disk this is also available on the apm this value and this is the attribute value for that and this is the class name uh, the absolute for double slash is for the absolute xpath and this contain at resource at resource id this is the another point also but co comma is given not equal to sign is given here and this is the attribute value is there then back disclose for the resource id then the cross this bracket is closed and uh, this is like uh, contents then another one for the like, class name with text also there oh, i think this was repeated okay uh, this uh, this is the contents with the add text and this kind of the x path we can use these are the these are the uh, there are many format we can uh, many means there are some format also available but i um, remember this uh, i will found and i will uh, just use this for couple, couple of times so i was just mention this as the this can be the uh, format of the xpath so where uh, this is the my favorite part but uh, we, we have many times to use this and this can be the various uh, type of formats we can use in xpath in case of xpath to identify the exact location of the element then in case of list of the elements we are going to use as the uh, here is only the single element we are going to find find the element by expert here for the multiple element we are use the list of mobile element there are the index number of given the elements so uh, for example we have the mobile element which is having the id of item types and which is having the index of 0 to 4 for example these item types are there for five item type five five item type and there have a 0 to 4 index numbers so to get one item uh, number element id so we can use the, the, the list of mobile element method that is find elements by id this is also separate for the available for the bind elements by xpath for the uh, this kind of uh, method available so to get that uh, just mention this file elements by id and just mention string uh, uh, string string id and this uh, for the, to get the first item to get zero this kind of method we use and this this is also the uh, for the second element get zero get one for the third element get two the index uh, remember the index although always start from zero so for the five element we have the zero to four indexes likewise that we can get the uh, element uh, location locators and we can perform the operation uh, we can also, like get text send keys like that wise we are going to use in our project so thank you for the watching the video uh, please share please share subscribe the video and like and comments if you have any doubt you can comment i will uh, reply to you on the comments also thank you for the watching the video remember words we are we are till now we are only launched the application and we are going to perform in next video we are going to perform this operation in next next test and we are going to log in the application by using the this uh, different different locators we are identify the elements and we are going to use for the automation and perform in the automation automatic operations on the app okay okay thank you guys